Comrades, delegates of Southeast St. Anne, this is Karen C. Lacrosse again. I know that you're not tired of hearing from me. I know that you want to hear from me. And um, I'm just sending you this little voice note to um, update you on what is happening this side of the country. As we speak right now, inside the People's National Party, there is an active engagement of your member of parliament, Lisa Hanna, to get her to stay in politics, to get her to reconsider her decision. And all of us want her to reconsider her decision. Most Jamaicans do. And we hope that she does reconsider and stay. But inside the People's National Party, they are trying to convince her to reconsider and for them to send her to another seat. Let me repeat that. They want her to return to the politics, stay in the politics, but they want her out of Southeast St. And Southeast St. And sorry. And she should go to another constituency. Just so just just to say that churns my stomach because it stinks. It's a dirty trick. It's a nasty little dirty trick that them in there trying to play. After Wizzy. Denzel McDonald, Wizzy, and Lydia, and Garrick, and Bell, and Weir, after them mash up the constituency, headed by Paul Burke and his wife, Angela Brown Burke. Let me remind you, Southeast St. Anne, that Paul Burke had wanted the seat originally for his wife. And when Lisa decided that she don't want to be in their company, she don't want a friendship from them, because everybody know them wicked and evil, but bad man and good shit. Nobody know them not a friend, really. When Lisa decided that Paul Burke started this operation to get rid of her, Wizzy might carry a different agenda because Lisa might carry pussy feelings for Lisa. And we know that when men start carrying pussy feelings, it's, it's difficult for them to let go of it. I'm going to dead with that feeling in him because I'm not going to get it. So them together destabilize the constituency, mash up the constituency. Gary with him teeth himself, lose the money division. Because he was behaving badly. People in money say he was just him that want too bad. People don't want him. 700 odd plus PMP people voted for the independent candidate. And I can't stress enough to you, the people of Southeast St. Anne, what an indictment that is on his stewardship as counselor for, as a, for money division. That almost 800 PMP people decided not to vote for him. That is unheard of for a sitting councillor to have lost almost 800 PMP people voting for an independent candidate. That don't happen in Jamaica, but it happened to him. And over 600 PMP people in the Claremont division as well voted against where? Now you tell me, comrades in Southeast Centre. If PMP people were willing to go, go vote against these two guys, you tell me who mashing up the constituency. Who mash up the constituency? Wizzy. He make all of them feel like is him giving the money of cooking up him yard and entertain the whole of them and the whole of them run go the other thing say, you know, it's him doing that and it's him doing that. And him giving the money and ray ray blah blah. But that wasn't the case. All that money we used to spend and give to someone and all of that is this taxpayers' money. 
the councillors give him contract for road and drains and God knows what else. And then if you use some of that money to make you all feel good and make you all feel like it's him giving you money and him is a good guy and him is a Dan. So it was all a trick that they played on you. The member of parliament, Lisa Hanna, realized that the constituency was being destroyed by these guys. I mean, she have to take some of the blame too. We're not, we're not exempting her from some of the blame. Because she never handled the matter. When she should have handled the matter, she didn't. So she stopped giving them the CDF money. She started spending the CDF money through her constituency office. And not through them, but through her. That pisses them off something awful. So then just turn the screws around and really get to work about destabilizing the constituency. Before, during the 2020 elections, Bobby Pickersgill, Garnet Roper, Dayton Campbell, Angela Brownberg, Aluna Samba, Paul Burke, Wizzy, Weir, Bell, and Ugly Lydia. Am I leaving out anybody else? I'm sure there are some others. They all were meeting on Wizzy's farm. Meeting on Wizzy's farm. Bobby Pickersgill, Garnet Roper, the councillors, all of them, Paul Burke, Angela Brownberg, Peter Bunting, Dayton Campbell. The only reason I'm not calling Ian his name is because I can't verify his, his presence. I can't verify Bell's presence either. But all of them was there. And their meetings were about making sure that Lisa Hanna did not win the elections. That was what the meetings was about. Making sure that she does not win. But she won anyway. By 31 votes. They were very upset. About the fact that she actually won by 31 votes. They were hoping that she would have lost. All of them. Because they wanted out of the politics out of Southeast St. Anne. Now, after they did that, they know, and she sent that letter to say that, you know, she's not going back. Now, they want her to take another seat. And if she should ever even consider that, it would destroy her reputation and her credibility. She ought to stay in Southeast St. Anne. And you and her and those who are willing should build back Seymour Mullins' constituency. That's the only deal she should make. She shouldn't engage in no conversation with Mark Golding and Dayton Campbell them about moving to another constituency. So all the other people them have run up and down to the constituency down there, don't pay them the mind. Because if she changes her mind, about leaving representation politics. She has to stay in Southeast St. Anne. There's no two way about it. She either leave completely or she changes her mind and stay in Southeast St. Anne. Now let me hear you talk about something, delegates and PMP people in Southeast St. Anne. Let me hear you talk about something. You see this country, Jamaica, Throughout my time, my living, my 60 years of living, I can tell you this. There have always been people in public life who inspire us. People who we look up to. People who we consider to be role models. Our children want to be like Donald, like who want to be like Donald Quarry, who want to be like Merlin Otty. Yeah. 
the current crop of politicians on both sides, PMP and JLP, don't have that anymore. The Jamaican people went out in 2020, 2016 and 2020, and they voted for a man whose only claim to fame at the time was to talk about his, his, his clerks, him shoes. That's what they voted for. And his name, the clerks and the brogard, because they had nothing else to offer the people. Our people need inspiration. Our people need role models. And Lisa Hanna is one of the most high-profile role models in this country along with Yussi and Bolt and Shelley and Fraser, role models, political role models, Lisa Hanna, Damian Crawford, Raymond Price, Crystal, Tomlinson, Imani Duncan Price, role models. Those present crop of people leading the PMP, they are not role models for anybody Nobody wants to be them. Nobody wants to be Mark Golding. Nobody wants to hear anything from Mark Golding. No PMP, P PMP people are not supporting Mark Golding. Every time him go to the road and him see him, them like him less and them not supporting him. And that is why him poll numbers keep going down. Angela Brownberg is a role model for anybody. Nobody likes Angela Brownberg. Nobody wants to be her. Nobody don't want nothing to do with Dayton Campbell and Ian Eels, and Peter Bunting, and the whole host of them in there. I can mean, call up everybody's name, but you know, them. Who are they going to lead? Nobody want them to lead them. They doesn't inspire anybody. They don't stand tall so people can look up to them. They do not. Mark Golden stole the presidential elections from Lisa Hanna through fraudulent groups. Those groups are, the group system in our party is corrupted to high hell. And the PMP delegates voted for the only white man in the party whose parents, whose four parents, whose grandparents owned slaves. Now that I'm calling him Massa Mark, when we were just calling him Bakramas, and I was telling you that his father came here with slaves, and Manil thought I was lying, but I was not. But he also come from a family in this country that have provided services to the country. That don't mean that they never owned slaves, because they did. When you go back into the history book, 13, 1400 slaves were owned by that family. Mark Golden's family. And you're going to ask, you're going to ask the descendants of slaves to support and vote for the, the descendant of the slave owners. That is what they're going to come to you with. Who's going to go out and vote for Mark Golden? Nobody's going to go out and vote for Mark Golden. And all of them in there, that big up them chests and how them PMP people are going to come out and vote and fill up Mark Head with all kind of foolishness about him going to win. They are going to be charged for treason. PMP is going to put them on trial when the whole of them lose them seat. Okay, not the whole of them. I was certainly going to lose some of that which we have now. They're not going to win no seat. They're not going to win nowhere. PMP, PMP people are not coming out to vote for them. But them don't seem to want to live in that reality. So they have moved themselves into an alternate reality. And that's where they stuck. In that alternate reality where the PMP has gained 0 0.2 points and Mark Golden have lost 3.3 .3 PMP. So that, that is their alternate reality. That's where they live now. Where they believe that Mark Golden keep going out to talk to PMP people. And every time him go to talk to PMP people, PMP people walk away from the PMP. Every time him go out to talk, PMP people walk away from the PMP. So guess what? They need Lisa Hanna. The country needs Lisa Hanna. The PMP 
if it should ever see the light of government again, needs Lisa Hanna. And no matter who in there, what things of them can be leader. And I'm not talking Lisa and Damien. Because Lisa and Damien are the only two who can carry this right now. The rest of them in there will want to be leader. Some of them, some of them are young man look like old man. And them thought them want to be leader. The PMP people are going to laugh them to scorn. When them go around, we're going to talk to PMP people. Them going to laugh them to scorn. So I want you, the delegates, you, the PMP voters in South East and to know. That Lydia, she keep running up and down with Patricia Duncan Sutherland. And I don't know who run up and down with Wavell Hines. Him, him. None of them that went to be a member of parliament. Them can only be a member of parliament if you decide that. But I know, I already know, that you don't want them to be a member of parliament. So I don't need to make up, I don't need to work up your sweat about that. And none of the councillors can convince you to call, go select any of them for any member of parliament. I know that too. So I don't need to repeat that in your head again. But what I want you to understand is the same things that I've been saying over and over again. The same things that I have been saying to you when I come into your communities, the same things that I've been saying on the lives, the same thing I say in the letters, the same thing I say on the voice notes. Is that I want to say to you now. Pay attention. Gather information. Sift through the information. Analyze the whole situation and make your own conclusions. That's all you have to do. You have been doing great in that department. I mean, you now know things that I, I didn't know. I mean, you telling me things now. And that is wonderful news that I don't have to bring things to you anymore. You have now gone out and investigated things for yourselves. And you are now saying to me and to all of us here in the resistance leadership that this is what we found out. You see how wonderful it is when you have information and all that was happening all along in your constituency. Many of you thought it was your MP that was a problem, but she's not a problem. She has some issues, yes, but the problem is Wizzy and Lydia and Garrick and Bell. Those are your problems. And you see it clearly now. I don't have, the, I don't have to repeat it again now. Because you now see it. And you now know that the conspiracy to run her out of PMP is headed by Paul Christopher Burke and his wife, Angela Brown Burke. It's them. It's them fueling it. But here's the thing. If Lisa Hannah decides to change her mind and Hall of Jamaica hopes that she changed her mind. Jamaica is just waiting to see she and Damien hit the road. Jamaica is just waiting to see she and Damien and Crystal Thomas and Raymond Price. Jamaica just waiting to see them. Because that, the music, the Jamaican music is not serving as an inspiration anymore. It's kind of sadistic, some of it. We have, you see in Bolton, we have a few people still that our young people look up to. But we need more role models, and we need them to be in, our, in the forefront of our politics so that our children can look up and say, ah, there we go. We have leaders, you know. When Portia became, when Portia was around, I mean, all over the country, people, people want to be Portia. You have Jamaica Day at school or Carrier Day at school. And in my community, they want to look at Portia's where they say, I passed by, yeah, I've got school, primary school, basic school. Then we don't see none of those again. Can the Carrier, the Carrier, people, them in a police uniform and nurse uniform and we don't see no Carrier children in, in political garb anymore. From, from Portia left. And my, I mean, I don't think we had that great big career thing during Michael Manley time. God, if we did. There's nothing, no inspiration, no motivation. Mark Golden can't provide it. 
if you combine Wizzy and Angela and Paul Burke and Dayton Campbell and Ian Hills and all of them in there, if you combine all of them, put them together, them don't make one. None of them. Not one of them. Can appeal to the better angels of our young people. Young men with the guns and the knives and the killing of women. Who amongst us is going to appeal to the better angels in our young people? We need people to do that. Patricia Duncan Sutherland can't do that. Wavell Hines can't do that. Wizzy can't do that. Garrick and Weir and, and Bell and Lydia, them can't do that. Them can't even inspire the people in their own division. Come on, comrades. It's your time. It's your turn now. My word of advice to Lisa Hannah is stay in your constituency and go build it back. Don't make Mark Golding and Dayton Campbell and bully you into go take no other seat. Because if you do, that's the end of that. If Lisa Anna takes another seat, she can't chat to nobody in this country again. Ever. So she either stand her ground or change. If she change her mind, she have to stay in her constituency. If she doesn't change her mind, then so be it. TMP is doomed. But if there is going to be a change of heart to continue to serve the Jamaican people, then she clearly knows that that change of heart must mean that she's staying in her constituency. And with your help and hundreds of others out here who want to come help her, she will rebuild it. And that's a start. Thank you.